want to gain back the warm water into the process so we save energy and water conservation. That's the whole point of the thicker is those two things. Get energy and water back. Yeah, and we want to thicken up the fines and send it to tailings as thick as we can. But this is that material. The water has run off. It's uh, consolidated. It's gathered strength. And now it's, uh, it's what we call trafficable. Um, so this was again, yeah, about a meter and then uh, settled down quite a bit. This is a D6 dozer that came out here just to test it. <laughs> so the atmospheric fines drying process is really we're taking the mature fine tails out of the tailings dike, the external tailings facility. We're adding a polymer to it and we're trying to separate the clay and the water, the mature fine tails being basically clay and water bound together that really don't want to separate as opposed to the surface cracking and drying um, as you see at the top of the cell he's really turning that surface over and trying to dry an entire thickness and top meter or so what happened here in 1989 uh, this this excavation was completed and we put about a thousand cubic meters of fine tails in here and it was covered with tailings pond water and what we've seen over the last 20 years is that this system has evolved uh, into a natural state. It's, it's the home, you see a lot of ducks living here, vegetation has invaded, and, uh, and as we all know right now, standing here, there's a lot of bugs around. So what we're, what we're looking at, sort of behind me, to the north of this, at one time was our, our east pit, our mined out area. So it's since been infilled with, with tailings, in, in this case in particular with what we call CT or composite tailings. So what we're looking at behind me is actually the filled in mined out pit with, with composite tailings. So, so that area would still be, if you went out there you can see the ponded water, it's still pretty pretty soggy. It would be you know pretty soft to step on. So and, and hence we call it soft tailing. Eventually this whole area will be a series of wetlands.